Oh, crikey, okay. Wow, that was close. That was so close. That was probably one of the closest I've ever had a torpedo past my submarine before. Hello, ladies and chaps, and a jolly good welcome to you. I am Baron Kerti. Thank you ever so much for joining me for this live comment recording in cold waters. Um, today we are playing the uh, No Deal Brexit campaign. It's a campaign in testing with the new playable subs on more mod. And a quick brief on the scenario. UK has left the EU with no deal and suspicion and distrust has fomented with the EU countries and UK and hostilities have basically begun. I'll let the newsreels tell the rest. And please do bear in mind, this is a mod being made by people who are not being paid to do this. It's like a hobby for them. So the things in it aren't 100% perfect. Uh, the submarines in it aren't 100% perfect in their, their design of what they're meant to be, their representations. So please bear that in mind and I hope you enjoy the video. Right, so no deal. Due to negotiations breaking down, the UK has left the EU with no deal. It is understood this is due to the failings on the willingness of members of the EU Parliament. An EU spokesperson has said that these accusations are unfounded and that the EU tried its best with negotiations. Recent news reports suggest that Russian military intelligence service may have hacked into UK media outlet servers. It is understood that the hack took place on the request of a number of EU member states. So the story here is fomenting distrust between the UK and the EU. Okay, and the tactical situation. Operation No Deal is now underway. EU nations have been harassing any convoys heading towards the UK. Your submarine is hereby placed on long-term patrol duty. You may move around the operation area at your discretion. The orders are to sink any unit committing or about to commit a hostile act. Tricky. How the hell am I supposed to know? Um, once you feel you have completed your patrol, you are ordered to insert special forces in St. Petersburg to destabilize Russian cyber intelligence and trigger the next phase of the operation. Okay, <laughs> this is crazy. Alright, here we go. Good. Finally, we made contact with someone. Right, so I don't know what we're up against here. We have 20 spearfish torpedoes waiting to whack someone. Um, and six moss just in case they get fruity. Uh, right. Okay, so we're in the North Sea. Con, sonar, new contact bearing two, one, five, designated Sierra two. This is HMS Astute, or a representation of HMS Astute, um, of the Astute class, obviously. Now, please bear in mind that what the modders have done is they're taking a submarine existing in the game and tried to reshape it to look like what it's meant to look like. Um, I personally don't know how accurate it is. I've never seen an issue out of water. I could probably look like a picture if I want, but I haven't. Um, so they've, it looks like a Soviet submarine that they've reshaped, really, and painted black. But um, what are we up against here? Let's have a look. Let's see what Sierra 1 might be. It doesn't appear to be any type of um, Western submarine. And that's what's interesting with this mod. Even though the submarines aren't 100% accurate to what they're supposed to be, um, with a little bit of imagination, uh, it can be quite interesting because for this campaign, we are fighting against Norwe this Norwegian submarines, Swedish, uh, Netherlands, German, French, Spanish and Italian um, in this game, in this mod. Submarines from all those countries. So it's it's quite difficult. It is actually quite testing because they're, they're some of them submarines that I have are quite good. Also, that there will obviously be some Russian or Soviet submarines as well. Um, so for the sake of that, we'll just have to pretend that it's the Eastern European countries who still tend to use a lot of Soviet or Russian designed equipment. Um, or just the Russians are helping the EU out to fight the UK. A little bit one-sided in my opinion, but whatever. Um, could be a Delta IV? SSBN? Or it could be an Oscar II. That looks more closer, actually. Oscar II, um, SSGN. Sierra II looks like a Rubis, a French um, nuclear attack boat with missiles and torpedoes. Um, yeah, that's what that's what Sierra II appears to be. Let's designate that. Oh crap! Okay, there's the enemy. Um, this is going to get very, very hairy now straight away. Back emergency, maneuver guy. Con maneuvering. 
making turns four, five, nine. Let's reverse a bit, because <laughs> he's right there. He's going to end up bumping right into me. Oh, this is, this is, this is tension, this is. Okay, so here he is, the Rubis. I think that's how you pronounce it. R R Rubis, Ruby, whatever. Um, again, not entirely sure if it's accurate to what it's meant to be. It could be a Sturgeon, or a, re a remodel of the Sturgeon, perhaps. I, I don't know. Um, it's obviously a remodel of something. But there I am, um, rather disturbingly, <laughs> just, just kind of next to him. Uh, yeah. Now, if he, if he launches, I'm literally just going to have to dive. Dive, dive, dive. Maximum revs. As you can see by the um, the readout here, it's Toad Array has a very small, tiny bit of solution on me, and that will probably grow as he creeps closer. Oh no, it's gone down again. Never mind, I'm talking nonsense. Just going to sit here, quietly, nice and quiet, and wait and see what happens. Also, I could see the other submarine, the Oscar, there. He's going to detect me. I've got a feeling he's going to detect me and launch when he gets really close. And I'm going to be sat here with my dick in my hand like, oh, crap. Um, this is the tension here. The the urge to shoot or move or something right now is so strong. The situation hasn't improved. He's looping around me, which is not what I want. Um, not really what I want. So what I'm going to do... I can't mess around anymore. Gonna let him have it. I'm gonna fire two torpedoes and then just go for it, basically. Right, here we go. Right, torpedo one. He's returned fire. Okay, we lost the war on both. I oh, know we lost the war on, on four. Um, we are. Okay, we lost the war on both now. They've both gone active. He's coming around to face me. He's got to be dead. Come on. Yes. He's, he's brown bread. Sorry, French chaps. I'm afraid uh, my draw was quicker than yours, unfortunately. Right, according to this, the Oscar has gone up to the surface. Rather interestingly, um, we're going to start heading back towards him now. Come left two, two, one, two. Helm, I. We'll come up to 300 feet. Now, the Oscar is a quiet boat, not quiet enough because I detected it straight away. Um, it's capable of 32 knots. Uh, it's a it's a missile boat, so I imagine it being rather big and lumbering, but it probably isn't. I mean, none of these submarines are small. The Astute class is quite a big boat, um, and this thing, this plane, this thing handles like a freaking fighter plane does. I've gone to maximum revs here because the Oscar is getting away. In fact, let's go active as well. There he is. Picked him up straight away. We've got very good sonar on this thing. Some of the best sonar around, apparently. Oh, shit. He's right there, okay. Oh, bloody wire, though. He's shooting. He's shooting lots. So let's let's head down. He's fired three torpedoes at us. Oh. Okay, and one of them has picked us up. Wait. What the hell's going on? Where are those two torpedoes going? If I go quiet, will they still pick me up? They certainly will. Okay, never mind, that's freaking... 
So hopefully it's just this one I have to tangle with and not those. Hopefully. Turning towards it, so hopefully we'll pass over me. Hopefully, please. Good. Right, he's somehow deterred my torpedo away. But he's coming back around. I'm trying to watch the torpedo doing its thing up there while I dodge the torpedoes down here. Come on, torpedo. Good. He's still in. He's still alive. That's rather frustrating. Our knuckle deterred that torpedo. Doesn't happen very often. And that torpedo isn't going to detect, isn't going to get him because he's going too too far below. Oh, crikey, okay. Wow, that was close. That was so close. That was probably one of the closest I've ever had a torpedo pass my submarine before. Now just, just book it away. Hope. Oh, he's in my baffles. Right, them torpedoes are heading away, so I'm safe from them. Looks like his own torpedo has locked onto him as well as mine. I'm surprised mine did. I mean, they are spearfish. They are top of the range Con modern Zona, ray weapons. On one, one, seven, I'm surprised, actually, that he's managing to make 24 knots after being whacked by a torpedo. To be quite honest with you. Let's go quiet again. There he is. I'm very impressed that that thing is still making that amount of speed. Bigger hole in its side. Ah, oh, you little prick, he's coming right over the top of me. Go away! I don't really want to waste another torpedo on him. That torpedo has come around. Is that my, is that my torpedo? No, that's the, that's the Russian torpedo, funny enough. My torpedo must be the one that sailed off over there somewhere. Come on, Russian torpedo. Get him. Oh, he's going to get underneath it, isn't he? Oh. He is dead. He made a good chase of it, though, to be fair to him. You mean he... They'd already been hit by one, and I was still managing to dodge the others. So quite impressive bit of work there by the uh, the, the AI enemy. All right. Well, my first my first battle with my European former allies, um, and I appear to have won. It was my mission objective. Excellent results. We will push them back inch by inch. That we will. We are British after all. That's what we've always tried to do. <laughs> oh God. Cool. Okay. So quite a simple video really, but entertaining to play, hopefully it was entertaining to watch too. And I will continue with this because it is something new, um, and it's not too far-fetched when you really think about it, with the, the politicians we have running this show these days all over the world. This kind of situation could happen, I guess, it's not, not too outlandish. So once again, thank you ever so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Please do like, please do uh, give me comments, tell me what you think, and don't forget to subscribe. And if you are subscribed, or if you do subscribe, don't forget to whack that notification bell. Uh, my subscribers are not getting notifications, and I think that hopefully will help. So thank you once again, I hope you have a very nice day, and hope to see you again very, very soon. Cheerio. As an emergency, you could use the emergency blow tactic, where you basically point your nose towards the surface, engines at full, and blow your, ba blow your ballast, and just get carried up. Hopefully you'll be carried up fast enough that the torpedo will go underneath you. And once you reach the surface, Hopefully the surface is so noisy the torpedo will leave you alone, but not always the case. It's often a one-use tactic, um, but at least it might buy you time to reload a noisemaker. Naturally, you don't really want to do this when enemy warships are about. It doesn't end well.